It's a sad day. Sad day. Salamat is leaving the club, and I had nothing I could do about it. Bayer Leverkusen came in with a $3 million bid, conditions that could reach $7 million. We'll get a friendly, which will give us some income. We'll get two million dollars for ten, you know, over ten games for his appearances. We'll get another million dollars after ten league games, and then another million dollars after he scores ten goals, which I don't think will be a big deal for him. And then 40% of profit from the next sale. So it could get to $7 million. The board accepted the offer. I could not talk them out of it. No, oh, I am gutted. I think he would have been an outstanding player. I think he would have been an outstanding player. But $7 million, I mean, right? I mean, you know, that's going to that's gonna fix. And I don't think that's hit yet. Well, maybe it did. Three million. Nah, I shouldn't have. I think we got to go one more day. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh. I'm not happy about that. I hate those kind of deals. But, you know, at least, at least, you know, we got, I mean, if we get seven million out of that, that's going to be five million more than the first offer that had already been accepted when I took the job. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, just wanted to share that bad news with you guys. We'll be back for matches in a second. <laughs> Transfer news, we still have about a week and a half before our next match, but transfer deadline just ended, and there was a flurry of action, and a lot of it I was not expecting. Uh, so we were the most active uh, with 14 players, uh, so that was interesting. So let's take a look at what has transpired. So remember we had spent like 4.1 million or three, you know and and sold 4.2 million basically. Well, right here at the end, so Salamat, we talked about that a minute ago, went out for up to seven million dollars, and I hated to lose him, but it, you know what are you gonna do? Then our starting left back, or actually he's our reserve left back because we had signed one. He comes in and he wants another challenge. And he's got a buyout clause, but he doesn't want anybody to have to pay that much because it's unrealistic. So he goes to Frankfurt. He didn't even go home, which is what I thought he wanted. He stayed in Germany, barely, basically barely at his at his value. Then I made a comment about, you know, well, you know, you pushed for this move, so I hope it works out for you. And he goes, well, I don't think this is a step forward in my career. I would have rather stayed here. I asked you to stay, and you threw a fit, so <laughs> stupid. Uh, Allegretta was our reserve right winger and third or fourth choice striker. Not a bad player. We, you know, just pay, I think they bought him. I don't know when they bought him, but then the last couple of years, he comes up basically on tra he comes up on transfer deadline day, and throws a spat about not giving Bernardo the playing time he wanted. Why? Um. No, I'm sorry. Allegretta was the one that wanted more playing time. He wanted to unseat Marasco. Wasn't going to happen at the time. And so he pushed for a move. So we sold him for 475000 
basically was his value. So we got value for him a little bit more. He was, I think, 325. Well, that kind of gutted us. So then I went out on the market and I picked up a couple of players. I picked up uh, Demir Poljak, uh, German. He's on loan from Ingolstadt and he's a right winger and can also play center if we need him to. So I said, all right, well, that can be our new reserve to replace Allegretta. I felt okay at left back. I thought we had enough people there. Uh, I also went out and got Plume, who can be a reserve striker and winger, because Allegretta played both positions. And we brought in another left winger, just because I felt we, we needed one. Um, so more depth there. So those are three lone guys. And then on transfer deadline day, on the final day, Marasco, our starting young star right winger, who's been playing really well for us, and he's on lo he's loan listed. Are you shitting me? That would be so funny. Can I go get him back? Uh, we can't, we're outside the loan window. That's funny. Um, okay. Where were we at? Let's go here. So anyway, he wants to leave because he wants, it was like, I, I you know, I just want, I just want a bigger challenge and I don't, don't want to be here. And I said, what's it going to take for you to stay? Cause I didn't want to get rid of him. And he was making good money, and he said, there's nothing you could do. I just don't want to be here. So I kind of said, well, you've got, a re you know, you've got a release clause. Well, that's unrealistic. That's not fair. Well, you signed the contract that had it in it, so that's your fault. So we, uh, we ended up getting a couple of offers. We negotiated, and we're going to get $2.1 million for him. And I think we've got a future clause in there, 40, you know, 40% or something. So we got, we didn't quite get, we were about a million under his release clause, but about 700,000 over his current value. And then I went out and I said, well, now I've, I've gotten rid of my two right wingers on deadline day. And I did bring in two guys that can replace them, but they're both on loan. So I said, I really want to get somebody that we own. So I, yeah, there were a couple of guys I wanted, couldn't afford them. This guy, I hope he's okay. He's three, you know, three and a half star potential. So he's not the greatest, but he's not bad. I mean, he's got really good physicals, leadership. Uh, he can pass the ball, technique, first touch, crossing, dribbling. He can do all the all the right things. So. We sign him, so if he's not going to be our starter, at least you know, we'll have somebody out there that we own at end of season, and then that could be a position that we look to upgrade. But, uh, yeah, so I wasn't expecting to make any moves uh, because I was already concerned about the depth of the team as it was. And then these guys just came out of the woodwork like, we just want out of here. And I'm like, gee whiz. Uh, so... Just to catch you up, uh, we are coming back for hamburger, but that's not for, you know, I've got two more weeks to get there. Uh, we did beat Mainz 2-1, to uh, Kodorowski and Allegretta, the departed Allegretta scored. Uh, Firth, we beat 2-0, Roos and Sitas, Sitas scored, and Cottbus, we beat 3-1, Bogler, Rubio, and Gallus. We gave up a penalty for their goal, so we're in good form. Uh, we are sitting on 12 points uh, after four matches, and we have a four-point cushion. So we're looking good. Schalke is up in third, and uh, Mainz, who I think would be a challenger, is down in fifth. And uh, anyway, we'll be back for Hamburger here in a minute for you. All right, we are the home team. We are favored. We are playing Hamburger. You can see Kuhn will be making his debut over on the right wing. I am a little nervous because his predecessor, who just forced his way out, 
has been pretty good for us. So, uh, still can't get over how hectic that transfer day was. And I, I literally went in not expecting to make a single play. Oh, there's a brilliant header from Arturo. The goal. Uh, oh, VAR. Oh, we've got VAR here. Let's see. Yeah, he's they're offsides. Damn. Disallowed. Oh, my goodness. That's that's unlucky. All right, there's Kuhn, his first highlight for the club. Out to Rubio with a nice ball. Oh, taken down in the box. That's brutal. That's got to be a card. And it was in the box. It's got to be a penalty. I think you got to give a card here, too, because he was the last guy between him and the goal. Unless he just says the penalty's enough. It was not a penalty? Are you shitting me? Okay, that's a highlight from earlier. That didn't count. That was the highlight from earlier. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the hell just happened. The game just gets these glitches sometimes. <laughs> All right, that was a penalty. I'm really upset about that. Vogler, Hill. Roos. Kuhn. Kuhn sitting on a yellow. There's a cross in. Nobody's there to receive it. And a counter. Miguel Sheffer. And across the goal towards the far post and just beyond it. Is this another highlight? That looked like the same freaking play. But that one goes in. Maybe. I'm not calling anything yet. And we're watching for VAR again. Are you shitting me? Come on. I hate VAR. Yeah, he was offsides. My God. Come on, Roos. Try concentrating. I mean, you know, hell. How many goals are we going to have disallowed? That's headed out. Nice little scissor kick flick on clearance. All right, now we're getting to the ball a little bit. Rubio in some space. Up to Citas. Oh, he's taken down in the box. I think he went down on purpose. Really? Ugh. I hate referees that can't just make a decision. Do your job. And it's... fuck was that demand more and hills dead what happened potential lower leg injury all right so we've got plume plumes it oh no i've got beats there hold on Yeah, I like Plume. We'll put Plume in there for him. Plume's one of our new lone players. This is brutal, man. Oh, Citas breaks through. Man, we're looking like shit here. Just three, three disallowed goals, a missed penalty. There's a header. Are we going to call that one back? No, looks like we get credit on there. Francisco Jose Rubio with his third goal of the season. 
That's good. Bogler. Oh, that's the replay. We don't need to see that. And we go straight to a kickoff highlight. That's either going to be really good or really bad. Some good ball movement. Oh, my God. He zinged that ball out of nowhere. Thankfully, the uh, goalkeeper grew a big, long, wooden third hand. That helped out a lot. Do it for the fans and you guys. Watch your step. I think I'm going to go into the tactic. and We're going to take off and get stuck in. A lot of yellow cards here, man. Can we get creative? Uh, he was looking for somebody to make a run in the box. It did not happen. Uh, over the top. Plume! Uh, that could have been a debut goal for him. That would have been a nice way to introduce himself to the fans. Here at the stadium next to the old Forester's home. There's some little intricate weaving there. All right, I. Two on one. Oh, hello. He's going to get sent off because he was the last man. That was a yellow. Wow. All right. That was lucky. I thought it was a red card automatically if you were the last player between an attacker and the goal. But we'll take the yellow. All right. Uh, I don't want to shoot on sight. Let's drop tempo back a little bit. And then we've already made one sub. If I bring, let's bring Plume back. And then I want to bring Beats in up top. That gets rid of that yellow card. I don't have enough subs to get rid of all the yellow cards. Demand more. Oh, good save. Drobbend. I ought to make it a personal philosophy just to sign players whose names I can pronounce. <laughs> Oh, Cetos with a nice header down. Good tackle there. Oh, good ball. Plume on the attack. It's in. Oh, come on, fellas. Oh, my God. Beiersdorfer Kopp, his first goal of the season. Keeper didn't even move off his spot for that one. Our red uniforms look like the parting of the Red Sea right there for him. Gave him a clean shot into the net. Ugh. Demand more. Back out. Nope. We're just not... We're not looking quite as dominant here as we were in earlier, oh, hello, in earlier matches. And I mean, Hamburger's a pretty solid club, so I mean, it's, it's not like we should walk over them. And, and we are a bottom of the table, you know, bottom half of the table side. Plume pounces on it. He's got two runners in the middle. He cuts it off. There's the end ball. Was he on sides? Was he on sides? I'm not seeing anything. I don't want to celebrate it just yet. Ah, he may have been off sides, man. But it doesn't look like they're calling it. We're going to get another look at it. No, 
When he played the ball, good deal. 2 1. All right, let's. Uh, I really can't take him off. Let's take him off. Pokalski or Gallard? I'm going to go with Bukowski. Kudarowski. Oh, he tried to, he took so long to turn back. Oh, nice ball in. Across the goal. Rubio's got a brace today. That was a beautiful shot. And we're up 3-1, and that might, oh, I guess we're still, all right, I guess I can't make the sub here yet. No, I cannot. Now we can. All right, let's get in here. Let's do some time wasting. We're going to dial all that back. Even lower tempo, less chance for mistakes. Oh, punched out. Nice punch out by the keeper. We've got a two-on-two -two breakaway. Oh, he beats his man. Play it through to him. There it is. <laughs> How did you not score that? Oh, that was the that was one of the best plays I've ever seen. Because usually that guy making the breakaway takes the shot. He actually saw, had the vision to see him, laid it off, and he, he couldn't score. Oh, my God. Nine chances. I just feel like we should have had... A lot more there. A lot more. All right. Excellent efforts, I suppose. And we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. All right. We're going to have to do some rotating today. Uh, Tom Hill, who got injured, is going to be out for another two weeks. Uh, he was injured in that last game against Hamburger with a pulled calf muscle. So we'll be without him for a little while. Uh, Demir Poljak also got injured. Uh, he'll be back to full training in about a week. And Adeyamo is injured. Uh, and he will be out for two more weeks with a back strain. So, ouch. Some injuries for us to deal with. I just noticed we get... We get a lot of subs here. We get nine subs. Still can only make three, I think, but that's cool. So Justin Plume's going to move up top with Hill injured. Um, Is that who I want there? Or do I want Beats? No, I think I want Plume. He's a better finisher. Yeah. Yep. Although that does cut into my right wing... Especially with Poljak out. You know what? I believe. I believe I am going to do that. I'm going to keep Beats in. That way we have stronger options off the bench for later in the game. We've won five in a row after that last win. So we're doing well there. Much better than I thought we would be doing. But when you come in and you drop that kind of money, you better do well. All right, let's tell him to get creative early, see if it helps out, because, man, we were, we were shaky. And we are down 1-0. Paderborn is uh, the favorites. This will be the first game that we're serious underdogs. And that comes on a set-piece goal at the back post. Unmarked, Benzerbach. And our set-piece goes wide. I do like the white kits better than the red ones, most definitely. But I do like the third kits, the ones we saw in that first match. I think if I had my druthers... <laughs> 
Oh, you can't kick it right to him. You got the whole goal, man. At least make him work for it. All right, let's get some passion. They're uninterested. Benzenbach is injured. That's their team. Oh. Now, I haven't played this tactic yet this season. So, you know what? We're going to we're going to swap back. That's supposed to be a little more defensive, but I haven't I haven't gone in and really looked at it. So, not sure. And none of these are the same exact tactics that I used last year. So, Kataroski. <clears throat> oh my god, and I think we got an own goal there. It went off the wood. VAR, come on. Are we offside off sides? He was oh my god. How many goals have we lost in the last two matches just from offsides? Like five? Nice ball. Oh, that was nice. And not a good finish. All right, let's go ahead and get to halftime. Hopefully without conceding a goal here. Oh, he just overstepped a tackle. Good blocks and halftime. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, let's let's uh, let's go in and look at the tactic. I'm going to drop back the tempo. Let's do that. Disappointing. Now, I have used these tactics before, just not in the last couple of years. We may have used this with Bonnie Rig Rose. I don't remember. But certainly not at our at Levendorf. But there are a lot more yellow cards here. Oh, my God. Another VAR. Come on, dude. I don't think Beats touched the ball, but they disallow it. Oh, man, man. He got a hand on the ball and it bounced into the frickin' net. Shit. I'm, I'm in the mindset that we should be competing for the title after going up last year at our old club, but we're at a new club and we're picked to finish in the bottom half of the table. All right, Beach, you gotta move, dude. You can't just stand there and wait. was not the greatest pass and I think he was off sides no they didn't flag him for the offsides then you should have scored that jeez show some passion um Rubio for Engenheister. Roos is on another yellow. Cetos is not playing great, but unfortunately, I am a little thin at striker. I mean, I've got enough depth for it, but not if we have some injuries where we're going to be out. Like losing Hill, one of our top two strikers. I'm not, not feeling confident about that. All right, we're going to bring Plume in there and 
Keller? Sure. Sure. Bring him in. Demand more. You know, we've had a couple of goal scoring opportunities here, but like right there. Got to make those count, man. And we take our first loss on the chin. We didn't play too badly. We did get out possessed. We got beat in the air badly today. But uh, we're going to go uh, assertive. Far from pleased. And there we go. Poor finishing. I will agree with that. Well, they don't like my tactical tinkering. So I want to finish the day and then let's take a look at the standings. Oh, man. We're still in first. So that's good. Four points up. And we still have goal differential on everybody. All right, so you know we're doing we're doing okay. We've we've you know basically as long as we take care of business. Look at Hamburger down in last place. Wow, wow. All right, where do we come back? So we've played we played that match because I'm sitting here. To, uh, you know we we recorded. I did the map and the cup and then today so let's come back for Hanover and Braunschweig I think Hanover and Braunschweig will do that well you know what let's come back for Nuremberg and Hanover that way we can come back for Schalke and maybe Augsburg that way there's at least a couple of games between them so yeah we'll come back for Nuremberg and Hanover for the second round of the Pokal Cup, which we're supposed to lose. And, uh, yeah, so, and I do like the fact this is a little bit shorter season than we would have had with Cardiff. Uh, that championship season is so freaking long, man. 46 games is a lot of matches. But hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you very much for doing that, and we will see you guys next episode. Bye.